Kenya has created a unit that will market beads in foreign capitals. The Ushanga Kenya Initiative facilitates the access to markets for the women who have long struggled to sell their products. I think with the Ushanga Initiative, these this ladies now can be able to produce quality products and also train them on how to price this product. And they can be able also to produce authentic products that can be able to be accepted internationally. Traditionally an activity for women, beadwork products include earrings, bracelets, blankets, among others. The initiative targets pastoral communities in Baringo, Kajiado, Marsabit, Narok, Samburu, Turkana and West Pokot counties in northern Kenya. According to the World Bank, traditional art has the potential to become a profitable export niche. However, most people working in this segment lack the business skills and contacts for a larger market share. The initiative provides these female entrepreneurs with training and financial assistance by organizing them into cooperatives, therefore empowering them. This has really helped our group to identify profit and loss. The cooperative has also given us exposure to what other groups are doing, so we have learned from them and we are implementing the new skills. Catherine Len Turkan is one of the members of the Samburu Bidwa Cooperative that have benefited directly from the initiative. She started selling her beadwork through the cooperative. Now she has her own shop and has ventured into selling her products wholesale. This has helped women a lot. Most of us are not educated, but now we are knowledgeable and even have bank accounts where we save just like educated people. I have stocked up my shop from the proceeds of Ushanga Initiative. Kenya has witnessed a growing number of intermediaries who link foreign designers with local beaders. The intermediaries are winning lucrative orders from abroad. The idea of Ushanga Kenya is to bridge that barrier or completely remove the middlemen from the process because um, the women who actually are doing the work do not benefit from it because you, do, you would find that they will do all the work and then the middlemen would buy them at very cheap prices. Then they go and sell them at very exorbitant prices. So you see the, the, middle, the, the women actually exploited. They do not get value for, for the money. So the Ushanga Kenya Initiative is here to remove the middlemen in the process and get uh, the women to market their products directly and actually get the value for, for money for the products that they are using. As you can see, there's a lot of detail and skill involved in making these products. For instance, this particular necklace took around three days to make by hand and costs around $30. Now the Ushanga Kenya Initiative makes sure that every coin you spend on this necklace goes back into the beadwork industry and into these women's pockets. Funding for Ushanga Kenya is drawn mainly from the allocations to the Ministry of Tourism and the county governments involved in the project. Terry Wangare, CGTN.